You might remember the small little black and white TV that I got in an older video, but this one, this is a full size color TV. Introducing the Admiral JSA 12300. With a production date of November 1994 and measuring 14 inches diagonal, it's literally just another NTSC color TV. But still, with this technology slowly getting more and more obscure, I'm really glad to get one. On the front, you have all the buttons. It has basic controls like volume, channel, and power. Not much. On the back, there's a permanently attached power cable and a coax jack. It's pretty simple, but that's all I really need. I'm going to screw in an antenna to the back here and put it in this little slot on top. Now, you might be thinking I'm wasting my time because there aren't any more analog TV channels in the United States, but that's where this comes in. My low power analog video transmitter that I made in another video. This makes a small TV station that doesn't really go past my house, but has enough power that I can pick it up from the antenna on the TV, and it's full analog video. So I fired up the transmitter on channel 14, no real significance about that. And look at it. I absolutely love analog TV, and it looks so much better on a CRT. Also, I purposely made this have a little extra static, just for the video. If I adjust the antenna a bit, I can get a better picture. Okay, now let's directly hook up a coax cable to the transmitter. This will get rid of all the static and give a clean picture, because there's no interference picked up by an antenna. And now you can see the TV at its best. And yeah, this is actually in pretty good condition. If you want to read text on it, it's usable but not ideal. TVs at the time weren't really meant for that, that's why you would get a monitor instead of a TV. It's still good enough to use, even if the text is a little bit small. Of course, just watching regular content like video, which is what it's intended for, is fine. If you use the remote, you can adjust things like the contrast, saturation, color, and even set up a schedule for auto on and off and other things. CRTs are actually super cool. They use an electron gun to fire electrons at a phosphor and that makes it glow. And then they use magnets to bend that beam of electrons. The whole thing is a vacuum tube that runs at about 27,000 volts. It's actually crazy technology, especially for the underlying technology being about 100 years old. I'm not going to explain how this works because I'm not really qualified to, but that might have piqued your interest. At least I can show you how magnets affect the image. Also listen to the amount of static electricity that builds up on the glass. Anyway, one thing that people use these TVs for is for retro games. You can get the actual consoles, but I actually enjoy one of these 501 retro game consoles. My friend gifted this to me and I was super happy to find out that it has an analog video out. When you look at these games on a modern screen, you miss out on part of the experience. The games were designed to be on a TV like this. Also, I've never heard of Admiral before. According to their website, they were founded in the 1930s, but didn't start making TVs until 1948. And then they got acquired in 1971 by Rockwell, sold to Magic Chef in 1979, acquired by Maytag in 1986, then acquired again by Whirlpool in 2006. It looks like they bounced around to a bunch of companies and now I guess they make appliances like washers and dryers. I don't really see anywhere where you can buy them, but I didn't really research it that much. If you want to get a TV of your own, you could probably pick one up on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or something like that for about 50 to 100 bucks. Luckily I had a friend who gave me a pretty awesome discount on this, so thank you for that. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned something. Thanks for watching.